Hi, my name is Dr. Jay Desai and I welcome you to this series called Gate Series. In this, I will be talking about different concepts associated with metallurgical and materials engineering. Today, I will be talking about zeroth and first law of thermodynamics. The zeroth law of thermodynamics states that if two systems are in thermal equilibrium with the third system, then they are also in thermal equilibrium with each other. For example, suppose you have a system A which is in thermal equilibrium with system B and this system B is also in thermal equilibrium with system C. Then system A and system C are in thermal equilibrium. This is what we mean by zeroth law of thermodynamics. The first law of thermodynamics is based on conservation of energy. It states that energy can neither be created nor destroyed. It can only be transferred from one form to another. And usually this transfer is either in the form of heat or in the form of work. The other definition states that total energy of an isolated system is always constant. For example, suppose you have a system and you are providing Q amount of heat to the system and it does W amount of work. Then the change or the total change in the internal energy which is nothing but the energy which the system contains is Q minus W. And this delta U equals to Q minus W is our first law of thermodynamics. Now, how this first law of thermodynamics can be applied to various systems? So we know delta U equals to Q minus W and we also know that work done is multiplication of pressure into volume and here since we are talking about the work done by the system, it is P delta V plus V delta P. So what happens in iso isothermal system, temperature is constant. Since temperature is constant, the internal energy change is zero. In isobaric process, delta P is zero since the pressure of the system is maintained and it is constant. And that is why delta U is Q minus P delta V. Because we are eliminating this term since delta P is zero. In adiabatic process, what happens is there is no transfer of heat or mass between the system and surrounding. And that is why Q is zero. And since Q is zero, delta U is equal to minus W. And in isochoric process, volume is constant. And since volume is constant, the network done by the system is zero. And that is why delta U is equal to the amount of heat which we are supplying. So this is how the first law of thermodynamics is applied to various systems. In the next video, I will be talking about second and third law of thermodynamics. Thank you.